Hey there, folks. Saying tea at the Arizona Ghost Raiders here. We got more mail. Santi, ha ha, you get shot all the time. What six guns are Dirty Dan and the others shooting you with? Alex. Ha ha, you get shot all the time. You know, Alex, I don't get shot all the time, all right? I mean, other people in the skits get shot. It's not just Santi getting shot. I mean, other people Come on, man, nobody cares about all this stuff. Just break out the guns. That's what they're here for. Bang, bang. Yeah, get on with the guns part now. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Just like in the Old West, we don't all carry the iconic Colt six-gun. Some folks carry a Schofield that's in the breaktop revolver family. These were popular because loading and unloading was much quicker. Remington also came out with a similar looking revolver to Colt's. Jesse James' brother Frank toted one of these. Ooh. In a previous video, I mentioned that older model six guns were widely used due to the lower cost. It's refreshing to see some reenactors using cap and ball revolvers in their shows. In 1872, Colt released the Open Top Revolver, which was a precursor to the recognizable 1873 Single Action Army. I happen to have one of these and use it for a cowboy persona, or a backup for a dirty rotten scoundrel. <laughs> I also own a Ruger Vaquero, which I use for recreation as well as shows. Ruger? Simrods, man. Batjack. It's a seriously robust firearm that cycles easily through everything from grit in the action to a raised primer. <laughs> However, this firearm is a modern representation of the 19th century model, and the internal workings are very different. Externally, it's a good copy, but because of these subtle differences, I won't use this for a living history demonstration. If you want to pay for the authentic name, you can go buy a Colt Single Action Army for about $1,700. Otherwise, you can go and buy one of the many replicas that there are out there. The Ubertis, the Taylors, the Cimarrons. You can find these easily, starting at about $450, and that depends on what finish or what model you're trying to get. The Italian replicas are reliable and most people customize them to fit their needs. Grips, like these from Batjack JW, emulate the look of aging ivory, which is exactly what I wanted on this particular pistol. Now due to their cost, you will see a lot of modern day gunfighters with a lesser expensive Italian clone. Mine has a black powder frame, which resembles the first generation Colts. Well Alex, I hope that answers your question. A bit long winded, but sorry about that. That's it for another episode. I'm going to take old Bat Jack here who's helping me out today get a candy bar because he's kind of got a sweet tooth. So please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. Bat Jack, just don't let Rex see you eating that. It doesn't even have nuts in it!